I now give the floor to the representative of Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Let me first congratulate you and the Slovenian delegation on your very successful presidency of the Council this month. We welcome the Secretary General's uh, latest report on the situation in Afghanistan and the briefing provided by the Special Representative of the Secretary General and Head of UNAMA, Ms. Rosa Otanbayeva. We commend her wise leadership and her efforts to promote normalization in Afghanistan under very difficult circumstances. We also welcome the informative briefing provided to us by Ms. Seema Pahus, the head of UN Women. Madam President, three years after the Taliban assumed the reins of power in Afghanistan, the situation there continues to be dire and deeply concerning. 23.7 million Afghans are destitute and need urgent humanitarian assistance. The international community has an obligation to provide such humanitarian assistance without conditions. Regrettably, the Afghanistan Humanitarian Needs and Response Plan has received less than 25% of the required 3.06 billion that was requested. This plan should be fully funded from all possible sources for the sake of the Afghan people. Pakistan also supports Afghanistan's economic revival, including revival of the Afghan banking system, addressing the liquidity crisis, and creating conditions for unfreezing Afghanistan's national reserves. Pakistan remains committed to expanding trade and commercial relations with Afghanistan and the implementation of the planned infrastructure and regional connectivity projects which have been mentioned here by previous speakers. Madam President, Pakistan was the first to advocate sustained engagement with the Afghan interim government. We welcome the government's participation in the Doha process initiated by the Secretary General and the establishment of the two working groups on counter-narcotics and the private sector at the Doha Three meeting. Pakistan desires to take the co-lead in the working group on the private sector. However, it is clear that Afghanistan is nowhere near normalization, three years after the Taliban assumed power. There will be no normalization until the fundamental issues that trouble Afghanistan are addressed. Terrorism, human rights, political inclusion, illegal Afghan migration, and the problem of Afghan refugees. Madam President, terrorism within and from Afghanistan poses a, the single most serious threat to the country, to the region, and to the world. The 34th report of the monitoring team to the 1267 Al-Qaeda and Daesh Committee illustrates the disturbing dimensions of the terrorist threat from Afghanistan. While the Afghan interim government is fighting ISIL-K, that is Daesh, without complete success so far, 